All right, folks, welcome back. We continue on our unit in similarity. We continue on the lesson in proportions and triangles. Last time, just to clue you in, we discussed the side splitter theorem. This time, we're going to talk about the side splitter corollary. Okay, so what is that all about? That's like taking the side splitter theorem and then putting it on crack or steroids, whichever. So here's the uh, side splitter theorem on steroids. So now we have three parallel lines. Holy cow. Boom, boom, bam. And they're being cut by two transversals. OK, one in here, one there. Uh, well, then the segments intercepted are proportional. OK, so what, what does that mean? And uh, very similar to the previous lesson, proportionality can be viewed in multiple ways. The proportion that this is saying, well, if AB to BC, then wx to xy okay but there's other ways to look at it okay all the all of the equivalent proportions hold if ab to wx we can look at that as well if ab to wx then bc to xy okay we can also look at the entire length as well right if uh, if ab to ac we could look at it that way if a, b to a, c, then w, x to w, y. So all of these things are, are true, equivalent proportions. And so we have to understand what happens with uh, proportionality. So a being parallel b, uh, to b, being parallel to c, these three lines being parallel, cut by two transversals, a whole lot of proportionality ensues. And we can apply that. And that's what we're going to do in this lesson. So take a look at this problem. Here's the problem, right? Well, we're going camping because this is so important when you camp. Three, three campsites are shown in the diagram. What is the length of site A along the river? So here's site A, and then basically the question is, well, what is this length here? That's what that question is asking. We'll attack that. And then the question is also, well, what is the length of site C along the road? So we look at site C. Here's our road. So we're going to be discovering that as well. OK? OK. So now, uh, we will call site A capital A. We'll call site C capital C. So how do we do this? A whole lot of proportionality is occurring here. Uh, but how do we know? How do we know proportionality is occurring here? Because parallel, parallel, parallel. We have lots of paralleling. There's a lot of paralleling going on here. And so when you have parallel lines cut by two transversals, a whole lot of proportionality ensues. Now. What proportions can you see? Well, it depends on what you're looking at. You can see a whole bunch, a whole bunch of different proportions. Since we're looking to answer uh, site A, and we'll, again, I'll call that capital A, that will be the first proportion or the first ratio I want to look for. So let's say I compare uh, site A to the nine yard length. Okay, so I could, I could do that. Right? So I'll, I'll compare site A uh, to nine yards. What would that be equal to? Okay, so site A to 9 would then be equal to 8 to 7.2. Okay, that's how that would work, 8 to 7.2. I could see that proportion, okay? Uh, I could also see, uh, how about site A to 8? I could look at it as well. I could compare site A to the 8-yard distance, but what would that be equal to? The proportionality of 9 to 7.2. I could look at it that way. So it doesn't matter how, as long as they're equivalent proportions. And as you can see, by investigating the cross products, right, the product of the extremes is still 7.2a. The product of the means is still 72. So this does make for easy uh, math without any calculator. So let's do just that. The product of the extremes, 7.2 times a, OK, so 7.2a would be equal to the product of the means, 72, 72. It's either way, it's 72. So it doesn't matter how you see it. We're going to end up with the, with the uh, same thing. Cool? Cool. So when we divide both sides by 7.2, we discover that A is equal to 10 yards. OK, so the, the, the length of site A along the river is 10 yards. So if you have like a 10-yard camp thing, it <laughs> doesn't matter. But let me show you another way. I, I talked about this in the previous lesson, but one more way of seeing it. What if I looked at the whole distance, right? What if I looked at A? to the whole way across. A to the whole way from, from here to here. What would that distance be? Right? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Good, very good. A plus eight. That's right, that's what it would be. 
what would that be equivalent to? 9, right? To what? 9, 2, ah, this together, right? 9 and 7.2, 16.2. So we could have that same proportion. And you would say, wait, time out, Mr. Katz, wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me this is the same thing as this? And I don't know. Let's find out. The answer is yes. But let's find out. The product of the extremes, 16.2a is equal to the product of the means. Okay, so we have 9a plus 72. Uh-oh, I'm starting to see that these indeed are equivalent. So how's that going to work? Okay, we subtract 9a from both sides. Subtract 9a from both sides. Guess what 16.2 minus 9 is? You guessed it. 7.2a equals 72. That's where we were up here. So it doesn't matter how you look at it. We're going to get the same result, right? Right. All right. What about the other question? The other question was about the length of site C along the road. So <laughs> lather, rinse, repeat. It's the same stuff. We have a lot of proportionality going on, and it's just a matter of what, what are you looking at? It all depends on what you're looking at, as long as you're looking at it correctly. So uh, if I look at site C, like I said before, I like to begin with my variable. So I'll say site C to 6.4. That's what I'm going to look at. So I'm going to say C to 6.4. OK, so that's the, the first thing I will look at. So C to 6.4 would then be equal to 7.2 to 8. OK, so notice how order matters. That is proportionality. So it, it doesn't matter how you're looking at it as long as we maintain proportionality. If you looked at C to 7.2, then 6.4 to 8, the cross products would be the same. OK, so it doesn't matter. So if you looked at it as C to 7.2, it would be equal uh, to 6.4 to 8. So it doesn't matter how you look at it. The cross products are still equivalent. OK, the product of the extremes is still 8C. The product of the means is still um, whatever that is. 7.2 times 6.4. I don't feel like using a calculator right now. Uh, pardon me. So I'll just do some quick uh, mathy things there. And boop, boop, uh, boop, bitty boop, and boop. 40, 46.08. Right? Right. Okay. So 8C would be equal to 46.08. And now we're going to divide both sides by 8. And again, I don't feel like using a calculator. So let's see. 46.08. Divided by 8. Do you like that old house? Check it out. All right, so 8 goes into 46, not 6 times, but 5, with the remainder of 6. 8 goes into 67 times, the remainder of 4, 5.76. That's convenient. So C would be equal to 5.76 yards. Does that make sense? I, I want to know. Does that make any sense? Hmm. 9, 7.2, smaller. Yup, totally makes sense. So uh, we are making sense. And that is the corollary to the side splitter theorem. And that's it for this video. We'll, we'll come back next time and talk about uh, the triangle angle bisector theorem, uh, which has some important stuff. So I'll keep it as a separate video. I'll see you guys on the flip side.